University of Ljubljana has a long history of collaboration with the partners outside of Europe. Uh, we were very pleased uh, to, to receive the information from the European Commission that uh, the program Erasmus will also expand to the partner countries. Uh, somehow we have a program now that we can actually address to our partners. Uh, they, of course, also have other partners, not just from Slovenia. So then now we have the, the, the frame how to cooperate. And also one of the very important things, we have the finance. So that we can actually, um, when we contact our partners that we want to uh, start collaboration or renew collaboration, we can actually offer them something. When we started this program in 2015, uh, we didn't know what to expect. You know, we had some uh, good experience, especially from the countries from the Western Balkans, but those were our neighbor countries. So that, uh, we kind of know how to collaborate with them. What was the main, what were the main issues, uh, and how to address them? But of course, uh, when you spread uh, the cooperation outside the Europe, outside the continent, you know, then we have a totally different uh, type of cooperation, uh, totally different dynamic of the cooperation, and of course, one of the very uh, important issues as well, uh, we have to apply for the visas because. The program is mainly designed for the incoming mobilities uh, and we also uh, know that we need to attract incoming students and for this you know you have to have a very good support which indeed uh, uh, we would be very, very very happy if the support from Slovenia would be much better. Uh, many many outgoing mobilities from Slovenian students are only available on the third level so that means for the doctoral students. And in Slovenia, it's like this, that uh, most of the, the students on doctoral level are employed or they have families. So the um, long term mobilities are not options, uh, especially now from the 2022, when the program developed also the short term mobilities for the doctoral students. This is a very good option, but we still have a lot of candidates for, I don't know, for the countries that uh, have this limitation on the first and second level of the st 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 uh, study cycle. So the planning is quite uh, quite a factor as well. Even when we prepare the application, we don't know what, what kind of results we're going to receive. So maybe the simplification of the, the application could be here an issue. Comparing the K131 and 171, uh, for the 171, we would be we would be very glad if there would be some simplification into the application process. You know, now preparing the pro, uh, the applications for some time. Of course, it's a, it's a combination uh, in uh, coordination with partners, which is good, you know, because you have to have the relationship with the partners to to get uh, the mobilities. But uh, simplification of the application should be much more, should be, should be very, very good. Yeah. Erasmus program has a long tradition. It's like it's over 30 years long, you know. Now we just expand it to the program, to the partners' countries, you know. Erasmus is a brand, you know. If you mention to somebody Erasmus, you know, they know exactly what is going on. You know, some people are going abroad to study, to, to, to teach. And this is the benchmark. And... Uh, the, this Erasmus program will last from 21 till 27. I hope there won't be any gap again because the program is clear, you know, you just have to, to do it, you know, and uh, and don't ruin what's doing, what's, what's working, you know, this is one of the most uh, important things.